My shot! Can you hear me now? I don't work for Verizon. My name is Dwayne Gerald Davis Sr. I'm an independent filmmaker. I'm a community activist. I'm the founding member of the Baltimore Block. I'm also a member of Alpha Justice. All right? I work with everybody that's anybody that's doing any community work in Baltimore. And I do a lot of homeless work. I'm a homeless advocate and I'm a prisoner's right advocate. I use art in my activism. I don't need a million people to march. I need a million people to pay attention. Enjoy the journey. I started this in 2006 on my Falls Road location. I've been on Falls in Joppa, Green Spring and Ridge Road, Falls in Padonia, and Falls in Mount Carmel. I was showing you about race and racism. I own the lunch counters now. It ain't 1965, it was 2005. All right, so this is where we at. I'm at City Hall. Y'all make a lot of money off of black bodies just like slavery in the 1800s. Dred Scott, do blacks have rights in which white America respects? No, they don't. You got a war on drugs and the war on drugs ain't nothing but a war on the black community. And I speak on that because I'm an advocate against the war on drugs. State of Illinois versus Dwayne Davis, 1986. I turned in guns and drugs to the police at the police station. I turned in my client list too. But they were politicians, they were business owners, they were white people. But you weren't trying to send white people to jail behind the war on drugs. I showed the power of the war on drugs, how, how deep it is in your politics. Judges, lawyers, and politicians to get paid to lock up black bodies while they still sniffing cocaine and shooting up heroin. I'm artfully active in my community. So last year, the whole year, I dedicated to, to the good in the hood. And it was about leveling up. All right, and we're gonna level up. It's like I say, I practice what I preach. 1965 Public Accommodations Act. I couldn't use your bathrooms. I couldn't drink in your water fountains. I had to sit on the back of your buses. Y'all don't know nothing about that, but I do. This toilet is my political soapbox because you made me famous for it, and I'ma run with that shit. I'ma educate you because I'm ignorantly intelligent. That's the Constitution. That's the 13th Amendment. That sign behind there represents Chief Justice Taney of the Supreme Court in 1857 when he said blacks have no rights in which white America respects. It's called the Dred Scott decision. And that's why we still locked up. That's 1965, your calendar and review. All right? We marched with Selma. Freedom. That's Trayvon Martin now. You feel me? It's about being black in America. Education. Like I said, I'm ignorantly intelligent. I'm going to teach you something. And I'm going to teach you about your politicians and the politicians that represent you. You feel me? I'm going to teach you about the Maryland Black Caucus. Because Martin Luther King wrote letters from a Birmingham jail. He told you about the haves and the have-nots. And that's what Baltimore has created. A black power elite, the haves and the have-nots. They're going to look out for them and their kids and their sorority sisters and brothers. But if you come up off the block, Gilmore projects, any of them projects, you call it a day, dog. You destined for the penitentiary. Like I said, I'm a prisoner's right advocate. You can check with Richard Sher. He did the first story on me called Hard Look in 1997 at Green Spring Station. And I told you, I'm a finesse hustler. Making a movie and a documentary about Baltimore, and I can name everybody's name. When I say Mary Pat Clark, when I say Ricky Spector, when I say Corrigan Vaughn, when I say Frank Conway, when I say Judge Turnbull, when I say Judge Janae, when I say Judge Bell, yeah. Because I can back up what come out my mouth. That's the true measure of a man. And I'm standing on everything I say. We're talking about the Constitution. Do blacks have rights in which white people respect? Because in 2007, it was a social scientific experiment. It was a hypothesis. And I told you in my story about that. It was about white supremacy. Well, guess what? I'm getting ready to put this flag out. And this is how we're going to play this game. Y'all made me famous for that rat and that head right there. That's Donald Trump when he came to Baltimore in the inner harbor, Harbor East. That's Martin Luther King. All right? And I was applying for his job. Don't kill the dream. That's the rule. I'm selling toilet paper because I'm potty training politicians. 
people pay attention to dumbass shit. And that's a dumbass motherfucker right there. These are the supporters of shorties. These are the people that support me. All right? Because I was making a documentary about racism and being black in America. See her? See me? See them? The grill. The barbecue grill is a common denominator. Comedy. Yeah, comedy. It's all about comedy. Art and activism. I'm using my comical genius to get my message across. Ignorantly intelligent. People pay attention to dumbass shit. And this is about as dumb as it get. You feel me? It's about the 1986 crime bill. Because in 1986, that's when I turned in guns and drugs to the police at the police station. All right? 1986. That's when Kwasi and Fumi signed that crime bill. Now Kwasi and Fumi is the congressman. And I got a case for Kwasi and Fumi. My kidnapping. That's City Hall. That's Baltimore County. That's the Baltimore County seal. That's 2019. U.S. Attorney. All right? Because like I said, I'm going to educate you. I'm writing you in reference to Dwayne G. Davis. I met with Mr. Davis on several occasions in the past year. He has expressed concern about a number of issues that fall under your purview. All right? I told him about, I told him about Mayor Pugh. I told him about Jack Young. I told him about Brandon Scott. I gave it to the uh, Inspector General's office and they gave it back. I gave it to the Public Justice Center. They gave it back. Because if you go after the corruption in Baltimore City government, in the House, in the Senate ju assemblies, you're going to dismantle the Democratic Party. That's my invitation to Johnny Oleski's in 2018. That's President Trump. He got this. That's President Obama. He got this. Welcome to the shit show. And I'm going to show you a lot of shit. That's a meeting Tuesday, August the 13th at 1130 a.m. 1010 Park Avenue. Received 731 2019. That's Congressman Cummings uh, liaison. All right. So we're going to send everything that Congressman Cummings got to President Trump. And we're going to show y'all all about being black in Baltimore. We're going to show you Dred Scott. That's the circuit court of Baltimore, all right? See that? Under duress, because y'all took me to court and took my property. Under emergency supplemental demand for discovery and request for the documents. You took my truck, my computer, and my documents to defend myself. But these are the people that supported me. These are the people that were there. You feel me? Making a movie ain't against the law. We getting ready to squeeze play. You feel me? This is what we do. Now you go to TJ Smith and he got, this is a $15 roll of toilet paper. That's Shorty. I work for Baltimore. That's the Baltimore Ravens running back coach back in the 80s, I mean in the 90s. All right, that's my son, Phillip. That's how long I've been around. So ask him about the conversation we had in Johnny Oleski's office. I'm a whistleblower on the courts in the Democratic Party. I'm coming after your money. To be the best, you got to beat the best. And y'all ain't beat me yet. And these are the people that signed off. Because like I said, I'm not alone. It's the good in the hood. I'm the king of barbecue in Baltimore. And right here, like I said, it's Donald Trump. We're going to do the voodoo that I do. And we're going to put them on pins and needles. <laughs> Donald Trump asked for corruption here in Baltimore City. So I'm going to give him all the corruption that he can stand. If he goes directly to Congressman Cummings' office to, on Monday morning and get my paperwork, go to Barbara Mikulski, no, Senator Van Hollen, go to Cummings, Van Hollen, Sarbanes, Dutch Ruppersberger, and get my paperwork. Go to Jack Young. Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake, Sheila Dixon, and get my paperwork. Go to Commissioner Harris, go to Commissioner Hyatt, Chief Hyatt, and Johnny Oleski. Right there, a cover letter, mail received, February 2015. 
Y'all got to understand who y'all fucking with. I'm not from Baltimore. I'm from Chicago. I'm from Lake County, Illinois. I'm 20 years ahead of the game. I work for David Irwin. Yeah. I work for Peter Angelos. I work for the Patarakases. I was the caterer and I did all that and I still do it. I'm still a caterer, but I don't get none of that stimulus money. So I need the state of Maryland to have a federal and state audit on my store. I need the state of Maryland, the office of the controller for an audit for Jake's Grill and Shorty's Underground Rib Shack. You give me that audit. You give me that audit and a lot of people going to jail. Mike, check! You give me that audit, a lot of people going to jail in the Democratic Party. Mike, check! Take me to court. I dare you.